Hello everyone, let's in hands of Elogy, and today we are going to solve this interesting IQ question. So what will the following number be in this numeric series? What is the pattern between all of these numbers? So we have 1, 8, 9, 64, 25, 216, and we need to find uh, the last number. So right now pause the video and write your answer in a comment, doesn't matter about your age. And after 10 seconds we will solve this interesting IQ question. So right now choose one option and write your uh, write your answer in a comment. I swear it will be it will be interesting. So let's try to let's try to solve this interesting problem. So we have 1, 8, 9, 64, 25, and 216. What is the pattern between all of these numbers? So if you're talking about addition, subtraction, as for me, I don't see any any common pattern between all of these numbers. But take a look what I say right now that this one we can write as one. So let's let's leave this one as one. Let's write this eight as two cube. We can do this because two times two times two will be equal to will be equal to eight. But right now we have an order. We have to, in the beginning we have one, but right here we have two. And this nine is really good to write as a three square because we will have three times three will be equal to will be equal to nine. So right here we have three square. As this is nine. Two cube equal to equal to 8 and 1 square I write as, as 1 so we have equal to 1. This 64 it's really good to write as 4 cube because we know that 4 times 4 times 4 it will be it will be 64. So this 64 can be written as as 4 cube. Take a look with this 25. So right now I try to create a natural order 1, 2, 3, 4 and this 25 can be written as 5 square because 5 times 5 will be equal to 25. So this 25 can be written as 5 square. And this 216, as you can see, it's really good to express as 6 cube because 6 times 6 times 6 will be equal to 36 times 6 will be equal to 216. So this is our 6 cube. As you can see, we create a natural order. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's not hard to see that the last number will be the base of this number will be will be 7. But what about the power? As you can see right here we have a lot of powers. But what the pattern between all of these powers? We have 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3. So it's not hard to see that we have like an order. 2, then 3, so even number, odd number, even odd, even odd. So it's not hard to see that this 7 have the second power. So if we erase this 7 to the second power, 7 times 7 will be, will be 48 and this this will be our answer. So if your answer is the same, it's really good. So put thumbs up and I really appreciate it. And thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Our answer is option, option B.